Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video, I'll be sharing my thoughts on the new MacBook Pro that was released by Apple uh, just uh, last week. And quite a few of you had a lot of questions regarding this MacBook uh, Pro and uh, some questions were directed towards me also. What do I feel about the new MacBook Pros? Will I migrate to them or will I be migrating to Windows with the new Surface uh, lineup? And uh, I got a lot of questions in the last uh, live tech Q&A, but there uh, we had some tech technical problems so I couldn't answer them so I'll be also taking up uh, some of the questions for example uh, we got this from uh, Avidhat he's asking your thoughts on the new MacBook Pro versus the Surface Book or the Surface Studio and uh, will you be upgrading to the MacBook Pro again a lot of uh, valid questions from you guys regarding the new touch bar etc so I will be touching all these uh, topics in this uh, video and before uh, I proceed I've made a list of pointers uh, some hard-hitting facts because uh, I have been using a Mac uh, for a long time now. I was a hardcore Windows user for almost uh, 20 odd years, been a Windows developer also. But uh, in 2007, I was really fed up with Vista and I brought my first uh, Mac that was an iMac in 2007. And I didn't completely migrate to the Mac. Uh, sorry, it was yeah end of 2007, so you could say almost uh, 2008. And uh, I didn't completely migrate to Mac. I was using Windows as well as uh, the Mac at that time. But in around uh, 2010, I completely migrated to a uh, Mac. I still have a Windows machine, but most of my work was done using the Mac. And I like the Mac for its stability and it gets the work done, I would say. You don't have to tinker around too much with it. Uh, and uh, I also uh, later on uh, purchased the MacBook uh, uh, Air in 2012 and that machine still works perfectly. It's been over four years and still it runs very well. Uh, I also, now my current machine is the MacBook Pro 15 inch. Uh, this is the 2014 uh, model that I'm using and I thought Apple would be releasing new MacBook Pros very soon so I would upgrade to them and yes they have now recently upgraded to the new, new MacBook Pros specifically I'm looking at the 15 inch model because my main work uh, uh, with the Mac the reason that I use Mac is because of Final Cut Pro X. This is the video editing software that I use and I'm very comfortable uh, with it. It's not like Adobe Premium or other, uh, what do you say, video editing softwares are not good. But I'm just used to Final Cut Pro and my editing flow is very defined with that. So I'm uh, very used to it and I can even edit the videos at night uh, if I'm even half asleep with the Final Cut Pro. it's That's what it is. When you get uh, used to a particular software, you try to stick to that. That's the main reason I'm sticking to the Mac. And you could uh, say that I'm sort of the pro users who heavily hits his Mac because video editing takes up a lot of uh, resources. And first, let's uh, talk about uh, the new MacBook uh, Pro uh, 13 and the 15 uh, inches Apple has launched. But specifically, I'm uh, going to target the 15 inches because in the 13 inch, uh, they have two variants. Uh, in one of the lower end variants, uh, they don't have that new touch bar. But with the 15 inch variant, uh, they have that touch bar on all the models. There are two models. Again, Apple has also bummed up the pricing significantly here in India with the new MacBook Pros. I'll talk about that later. And Apple was touting a lot about that touch bar that is uh, replacing the function keys on these new MacBook Pros. And they were talking that it's going to be revolutionary, whatnot. And even with Final Cut uh, Pro, uh, it has support for that. And trust me, guys, if you are a serious video editor, you don't look at the keyboard when you are editing. You only look at the screen and do your uh, work. So Apple justifying that you will be looking down at the keyboard and playing around with doing editing is utter bullshit in my opinion uh, it's just an excuse i would say so for the professional market i would say that touch bar yeah it's lo it looks cool but it's sort of a gimmick in my frank opinion yes they uh, Im improved the trackpad they made it really wide uh, so that's a welcome thing i personally don't uh, use uh, trackpads too much i use my macbook pro uh, i connect it to an external monitor and i use a proper uh, what do you say uh, mouse and a keyboard and that's how i edit and i think so that's the way most of the people who do a lot of video editing will use that way so yeah that touchpad is uh, they have increased it and uh, due to that touch bar i think so apple is justifying the higher price for the new macbook uh, pros for example the 13 inch based variant of the macbook uh, pro that does not come with the touch bar is 300 dollars cheaper 
than the variant that comes with the touch bar. Sadly, on the 15-inch, uh, there is uh, no model without the touch bar, and the base uh, price has gone up to $2,300 in US. And in India, the base 15-inch MacBook Pro will be sold for two lakh six thousand. So uh, they have bumped up the price like crazy. Now, next thing is. Uh, the, regarding the ports on the new MacBook Pro, again, I'll talk about the 15 inch one that has four USB type C ports. Yes, I welcome new ports and stuff, but seriously, this machine is designed for professionals. And Apple, all these years, you were pushing out that Thunderbolt uh, port and uh, the expensive, really, really expensive accessories. Now you just take it out. Yeah, I know you can use adapters, but wouldn't it be great if you had, let's say, two or three USB type C ports and uh, a Thunderbolt port and a dedicated, uh, what do you say, uh, SD card slot that is also missing on the MacBook Pro. And believe me, the SD card is really helpful for professionals. I know a lot of people who use the MacBook Pros are video editors and who work with the photographers and stuff. And having that SD card is a really helpful thing. But now what? We don't have anything. To do anything on the new MacBook Pro, you have to carry a bunch of dongles. Bloody hell, for even uh, using a USB, there is not even a proper USB port. And guys, USB right now, USB-C, yes, I know it's the future, but having a proper, at least a proper USB port makes things a lot easier. But with the new MacBook Pro, both the 13 and the 15 inch model, you don't have any ports and you have to use a bunch of dongles. And I'm sure Apple is gonna make a lot of money selling those uh, dongles. Uh, next, uh, if we talk about the core hardware upgrades that Apple has uh, done. Uh, again, they are charging a huge premium. This is going to be one of the most expensive uh, laptop around there in that class, I would say. Uh, again, it does not have a touch screen like uh, most of the Windows uh, counterparts have that. Uh, but moving to the CPU, you will be surprised that Apple is not using the latest version of the Intel CPUs on the MacBook Pros. Uh, they are not using the KB uh, Lake uh, processors, that's the new one. They're using the last generation of Skylake processors on the new MacBook Pro. Uh, the Skylake is the one uh, that was used on the Surface Pro 4. This Surface Pro 4 is almost a year old device. So they're using the last generation of uh, uh, the CPUs. Uh, and again, they are charging a huge premium. Now moving to the uh, GPUs, this is applicable if you're going to, uh, for the 15 inch variant. Yes, they have bumped up the GPU, nice thing. Uh, they're going with the AMD uh, Radeon 450 series. But again, to be frank, these are not very powerful uh, GPUs. Nvidia, uh, their mobile uh, chipsets, uh, uh, the 1060 is way more powerful, almost three times more powerful than the Radeon uh, 450 uh, uh, that they are using on the new MacBook Pro. So again, it feels like they are gimping up the machine. Uh, though you are paying huge premiums, you're not going to get top of the line. And uh, Windows uh, uh, manufacturers like Razer uh, and, uh, uh, for example, the Razer Blade, which is a thin uh, laptop, is having the NVIDIA 1060 uh, with the new KB Lake processor. Dell is also going to announce a few uh, machines. So again, though you are paying a huge premium, you're not uh, getting the best. And the way Apple is updating their lineup, so you'll be stuck with this for a long time. Now again, as I've already mentioned, because of the lack of the ports, it just has USB Type-C ports, you will have to buy a bunch of dongles and you would uh, be indirectly spending a couple of hundred dollars because you have to buy, practically, you have to buy a lot of dongles. You have to buy a uh, USB-C uh, C type to a USB port because most of your accessories will be running USB uh, and uh, you might, if you want an external display, then USB type C to, uh, what do you say, uh, HDMI or a Thunderbolt adapter. So you will be buying a lot more adapters with the uh, MacBook Pro. So you have to consider that also in the cost. And again, attaching all those dongles and doing your work, it makes it really messy, I would say. It's not an elegant solution in my frank opinion. Next thing is I feel that the way Apple is going with the Mac Book Pro lineup, they are just ignoring the hardcore professional users. They're just trying to go with the mainstream users who are not that picky. But guys, uh, uh, if you recall, Apple was in doldrums in uh, uh, early 90s and Steve Jobs, uh, uh, early 2000s, you could say, uh, 
Steve Jobs came up and they, he totally redefined it. And the hardcore Mac users that were the creative professionals uh, that uh, saved the Mac. And now Apple is actually ignoring the hardcore professionals with their Mac lineup. For example, uh, the new Mac uh, Book Pro, you might uh, assume it's really powerful and whatnot. Uh, but again, for a person who uh, does uh, heavy video editing and stuff, I won't say it's very, very powerful. Uh, for example, uh, I use the MacBook Pro 15 inch and I do that live uh, tech QA uh, broadcast. And uh, though the MacBook Pro 15, even the 2014 edition, is pretty powerful in terms of CPU performance, there's not a huge difference between this 24 edition and the new 26 edition, guys. It's hardly about 15% uh, difference that you'll notice. And uh, trust me, uh, for uh, hardcore pro stuff, that live video editing software uh, struggles at 720p if I put the feed. And once in my life uh, broadcast, it crashed. So I have to go down to 480p. So Apple is ignoring the hardcore market. We need power, but as of now, Apple does not have any product in their lineup, which is really, really powerful. And Apple also boasts, and I know some people boast about how fluid 4K video editing on, is on the MacBooks uh, uh, or the MacBook Pros. Bullshit. Yes, you can edit 4K. I have done that, but it's not a very seamless experience. It's painful. Sometimes it drops frames while editing. And it's not a very smooth experience. And exporting, if you have some elements, for example, your logo and some 3D elements, it crawls. So yeah, technically speaking, yeah, it can do 4K, but it's not a seamless experience. That's the reason, though I have 4K cameras, I produce videos in 1080p. And I was hoping for a new MacBook Pro that is really uh, powerful so that I can uh, start producing in 4K. But as of now, again, we are getting sort of gimmed up machines. And uh, the saddest fact for me is that Apple is ignoring the desktop lineup, which most of the creative professionals will be using. For example, the Mac Pro, uh, which is the proper uh, desktop uh, computer for professional, Apple has not updated it for the last three years. They launched the uh, MacBook Pro in what, 2013? And still, there is no news about it. Is it getting any updates or anything? So I feel saddened that Apple is now sort of uh, they don't care about, looks like that, it, they don't care about the professional uh, market. And those people who really need that computing horsepower, Apple simply does not have any machine from, uh, for them. Uh, so, yeah, Apple also touts that the new MacBook Pros can edit video up to 8K. Yeah, technically you can do that. But will it be a seamless experience? I highly doubt. Uh, so, uh, that brings me to the point that some of you have asked me, uh, will I be upgrading? to the new MacBook Pros, or will I be shifting to Microsoft uh, and go the Adobe uh, Premium route? Uh, the Adobe uh, Premiere uh, is also a very good video editing software uh, that works both on the Mac and also it has a variant on uh, Windows. And the answer is that guys, I will be waiting again uh, still. I need to buy a new Mac uh, because uh, my office will be, new office will be ready in the next 45 or 50 days. And I have to buy a new Mac there so that I'm planning to hire a, a video editor and I have to give him a machine. So I really need one machine. But as of now, I'm not very happy with the uh, lineup uh, what Apple has produced. And the way Apple is going looks like they are totally going to abandon the professional uh, market. It's not like uh, that I can migrate to Windows. I can definitely do that. But as I've told you, I am so used to the Final Cut Pro process and the editing. Moving to a different video editing software or whatever will be really painful. And it takes months and months to get used to a new proper software. So I will be actually uh, holding on and wait uh, and see if uh, by the year end Apple updates their desktop lineup like the MacBook, uh, sorry, the Mac Pros and stuff. But uh, if they don't do it, yes, I might upgrade to one generation of the MacBook uh, Pro, but I will seriously be planning to move out of the Mac and go to Windows. I know it will be a very painful process for me because it's not just the cost of the hardware, guys, you have to understand. Uh, I have a lot of paid software, legal software that I use on the Mac. I have to buy all those counterparts on Windows and again, relearn the, what do you say, the new video editing software that might be the Adobe, Adobe Premiere. And that will take me a lot of time. So seriously speaking, I'm really, really disappointed with Apple and the way they are ignoring the professional market. It's like 
you like uh, this family and you've always supported that and now they are totally neglecting you that's the frank uh, uh, feedback uh, that i can give to apple you are you guys are really just destroying it just going after the profits and this is a very short term goal that you are looking at and i think so many people who were hardcore mac professionals might be moving to windows because of this again do let me know your thoughts in the youtube comments below and let me know if you guys agree with me or not so guys that's it for now this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video